cat anyone? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, and today I am going to break one of my Goodwill hauls down into two parts because there's a whole bunch of bigs, well, not a whole bunch, but there's a good many size big things and then there's some little things, and I just don't have the room to show everything at the same time. So today we're gonna do the big things and then I will also film the small things in just a few minutes and let that be part two. Okay, so before we get started, as always, I'm going to dip into my gratitude jar and pull out the name of um, a Instagram friend or a YouTube friend, family friend, um, family member, anybody like that who has um, encouraged me and supported me. Let's see if I can get it open. And it is vintage conversation oh miss martha i'm so excited guys miss martha is a friend of mine that i met through youtube i'll put her channel right here this is her youtube channel and she has an instagram page so if you'll follow her on instagram as well as subscribe to her channel it is vintage conversation and she is just the sweetest, very knowledgeable. I was actually privileged enough to get to meet up with her as we went to Round Top and shop for a little bit. So I'm so excited to spotlight today, Martha from Vintage Conversation. Okay, so let's get into the haul. So I told you there was a bunch of big things. And when I say a bunch, it's probably about 10 or 11 things, but they take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna start with the biggest first. cat anyone now this cat is so big look how big this is there I did not see any chips or anything in this it is hollow thank goodness because it does have a little bit of weight but it has some beautifully painted flowers and a bow great detail on the painting of the face the little kind of heart-shaped nose but this is a beautiful it's just a sitter it would look great on a fireplace or it would look great near the door, but you just have to be careful because you don't want someone to break it. But I really loved this little cat and it was only like, I guess it was maybe $3, $2.99, but I thought this was great. But again, look how big this is. And that, that's a big cat. So I have a lot of people who watch um, my YouTube videos that love cats, so I thought I would pick that up. Another big piece is this beautiful pink depression glass. It is a candy dish. Let me see. I probably should have taken the tape off before I started uh, filming, but I didn't. I got excited. I've been very, very busy with a show. So making items and finding and pricing and getting everything organized. So I've kind of missed doing my videos with you guys. So hope everybody's been doing well and have been healthy and safe. All right, so here is my pink depression glass candy dish. I wanna show you the, if we can, see that great detail around the edges. Here, I'm gonna take the lid off so as not to drop it. It's got some great detail on the bottom. I did not feel any cracks. It is a larger opening. It's about the length of my fingers and it is pretty deep. And it has a great little point on the edge. Again, the great detail if it will pick it up. And as you see, I paid $3.99 for this jar, but I just love this. Maybe in a bathroom with cotton balls and Q-tips or um, in a guest bedroom with some sample sized lotions or shampoos, conditioners, anything like that. That would be so cute. But I mean, you could always put candy in it. Candy, you can never go wrong with candy. But I just thought this was beautiful. And for $3.99, I thought it was a great deal. Another pretty is, I just love this. This is a vase, but look at the flowers on that. I did not see, now you tell me in the comments below if you see any cracks in those flowers. I did not, but that doesn't mean anything. 
I love the detail in this. It does have a gold rim around the little edge there. If you can see the design of the rim. But I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. Very girly, very dainty. And the little ribbon here, it has the leaves that are a little bit 3D. And um, I thought this was an amazing piece. And again, I did not see any cracks or chips on the flowers. Um, so I thought it was a really pretty vase and I picked that one up. Got some more depression glass, but I think this time, and I think it's depression glass, but it could just be a blue glass. This one, this one is blue. Now, blue is my favorite color, so I um, haven't decided if it's the right blue, I'll use it um, in one of my restrooms, and if it's not, then I will be forced to sell it, <laughs> begrudgingly sell it. So let me take the tape off of this one again. Should have done that before, but I was just so excited to get to be back in film with you guys. This one was also $2.99, and it is a larger candy dish. Again, I did not see any cracks or chips or breakage on this at all. Now, underneath is where the, the design actually is. On the top of this, it is very smooth. But if you flip it over, that's where you have you can feel the design of, of the top of that. Now, on the bottom, the design is on the outside, making the inside very smooth. But again, it is a larger sized bowl. Um, not as deep as the other one, but it is a larger size bowl. Um, I'm not really sure what this was used for. So I know that Martha would probably know, but anyone who is watching, tell me what this probably would be used for. Is it something to serve food out of or is it simply decorative, like to put cotton balls and things like that in there. I'm not sure. There's no marking or maker on either one of these, so I don't know what kind of glass or who made it um, or anything like that. But I, I would think that this would be a candy dish and this would probably be a candy dish too, uh, but I don't know. I don't know if you could serve food in that, I just don't know. So if you know, or if you have an idea of how I can use either one of these, then let me know in the comments below. I love to see what how everybody else would use items that we pick up. But again, that one was only $2.99, so I picked that up. So the next two items that I found were pictures. I don't know why um, there were so many pictures this day, and I'm from South Carolina, so pitcher, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, um, and let me show you. This is probably the most fabulous one that I found, and it was $2.99, and this is a great pattern on there. It would have been perfect for my fall vignette, but it was over here in a box, and I didn't get to see it. I love the design and the piece here. Um, I love the great big handle. It is a very wide handle, but the colors are great. The only thing that it says in there is made in Italy, hand painted. So I thought that was absolutely beautiful. There are no chips or cracks or anything in this anywhere. Um, it does not it, it looks like that this pottery piece was one piece because if you see it kind of continues up and then was applied at the bottom. So I thought that was super neat. This this piece here does look to be like it was added, so applied later. But what a fabulous piece of um, ceramics. Um, it's not... I think it's just regular ceramics. It is indented on the bottom. If you can see that, it is indented right here with Italy as well, but I just love that. I just thought that was so pretty, especially for a fall vignette. Um, and I may still have time to put it out for Thanksgiving. It's only like a week or so, but I could still look at it. It would still be pretty. Um, so I just love that. Now, the other picture that I found was a little bit more modern. Um, it is from San Francisco. It is a terramotto, is what the marking is on the bottom. Terramotto, San Francisco. So I'm assuming it's a San Francisco pottery. Oh, here's my receipt. So for this haul and the next haul with the smalls in it, I spent $50. 
on everything. Now, this looks like it was a red tag day. I haven't seen one red tag on not one thing that I bought so far. So, um, some days are just like that, but I think I've gotten some really great pieces. But I want to um, keep going with the big pieces. And like I said, part two will be all the smalls. Today will be the talls and next week will be the smalls. So this is just a very plain picture, but it is um, great, some great colors in it. Now in South Carolina, these are Clemson tiger colors so that can be used for that as well here in texas these are ut colors so it could be for fall or your team it does have beautiful orange on the inside i did not see any crazing or anything no breaks no chips or anything it is a thick pottery and look how thick the handle is you can see how thick the handle is and again i paid 2.99 for this so that wasn't a bad deal um and I really liked it. I think that it will go with a lot of decor. All right, the next haul that I'm gonna show you is actually an Afghan. Now y'all, I got this for $1.99. I was so excited. So I've never really seen Afghans in our Goodwills or anything like that, but ever since I started watching um, Christine with Side Street Market, she is like Afghan queen. So I would watch her and I'd be like, she finds the best Afghans. I've never seen one. Well, what do you know? She sent her vibes down to Texas and we began to find some Afghans. So let me show you up close the stitching work here. Now, I there are no stains, no holes, no anything. And it probably is either a lap or baby. I'm going to say a lap, but let me know in the comments below what you think. I love the edges. And of course, I've told you guys before, I can't even sew on a button. So um, much less do an afghan. But for $1.99 for this afghan, I thought that was um, beautiful. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to try to stand up and show you. Oh, it's still going. Can you guys see that? So it is really, really wide, but I thought the colors were great. Um, and for $1.99, like I said, I picked it up. Christine thought it was a good, a good buy and it was not damaged in the least. So I loved it and I picked that one up. I think that could still go for fall. Actually, that could go all year round because that teal color is really popular right now. The next thing that I got is a pair. Now these are from Pier One. They are originally marked like $10 a piece. They are stamped Pier One on the bottom. Can you guys see that? And it has the original price tag on it. They're just wooden chargers. Now I got two of the wooden chargers. Both of them were 99 cents. So they were at Pier 1 for $10 at some point, and they are 99 cents at Goodwill. Now, I did get a pair of these. Um, I love them, and I'm not, I kind of want to paint them, only because it's so dark. Now, if I use these in my own kitchen, I have a kitchen area that has just a two-seater little, um, kind of bistro set. And if I use these on my own, it will be awfully dark. But I'm gonna try them out, not painted. Um, and then you could add pops of color with your dishes. And, or I could paint them and either do a stencil or some type of applique there, some kind of transfer there. So I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with these, but I did decide that for 99 cents, uh, wooden chargers, and they're pretty thick. Um, wooden chargers was a good deal, so I picked those up. I only have two more items for all the talls or all the bigs that I wanted to show you in this part of the video. And the next is just a huge book called The Wonderful World of Dogs. And I am a huge dog lover. It actually has its jacket. Y'all look, look at that. That is about the sweetest. Oh my gosh. I want to look through some of the pages. This is The Wonderful World of Dogs by Kay White. And I am, I just love dogs. The copyright on this is 1976. So this is a vintage book about dogs and it has 
choosing your dog, dog care, which breed. Now they, in here, they're talking about hounds, gun dogs, working dogs, terriers, utility dogs, toy dogs, other varieties. So, oh look, Patrick, there's some dachshunds. We just um, participated, a bunch of us just participated in the Just One More Dachshund Rescue. Um, it was a it was a fundraiser sale that Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile did, um, and I am actually mailing out my box to the winner Kim from Oh My Vintage today. So I am excited to send that out to her. Um, but th they raised about three thousand dollars for the dog rescue with the live sale, and Patrick did an amazing job with that. And we had so many people from our little vintage community of YouTubers donate um, mystery boxes. And so Kim will be receiving like 30 or 35 mystery boxes. Her postman is going to, or woman is going to be very excited about that. But I can't wait to see what all she gets. But I just thought, oh, there's a boxer. Oh my goodness. Now I had a boxer and I will insert a picture here. This is my boxer, Bailey Bob. It is Mr. Bailey. We called him Bailey Bob or Daddy Love for short because he was just one big hunk of love. So I am very, very fond of the boxers. So back to the book. Oh, look at those faces. Look at that. Now, this is a book that I could really get behind. <gasps> Y'all, look at that Brindle Boxer and that Boxer Puppy. Oh, my gosh. I could eat them up. Other varieties. Let's see. I want to see the toy, the toy dogs. These are Yorkshire Terriers, Pekingese. Look at those. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Sorry. I'm so excited. Now, my mom has a little Spitfire, and that is Lucy Bella. And uh, I will insert Lucy's picture here. Now, Lucy is, I believe, if I'm not wrong, mom put in the comments if I am, a Applehead uh, little Chihuahua, and she runs the roost. Look, Christy. Christy with Tippy Winks Vintage. Look at there. There's a little palm. Now, she, if you haven't gone to Christy at Tippy Winks Vintage, huh, look, there's a little chihuahua right there. And um, look at that silly face. So I picked this up mainly because I just love dogs, but I know other people love dogs as well. It is a vintage book, so I picked it up and it was... It was a red tag, so it was 75% off $1.99. I just couldn't leave it behind. It's perfect. So let me show you my last item for part one. And um, I think I found this when I was preparing for my first live sale with Trusty Huckster Mercantile. And I know that he loves coasters. And he actually had this set of Pimpernel. It is placemats. So this is a set of Pimpernel placemats. And uh, this says that it was established in 1933. And I'm going to open up and show you. I got it for $3.99. But these are absolutely beautiful. They're kind of, they're really heavy. There are four of them. So let me get some room to show you. And they are in great condition. And they have a cork back. This has the little gold finch bird on there. These are some great placemats. Oh, look at these. Look at those little birds. What are they? They are the blue tit bird. Those are pretty. Here's a wren. And it does have the little sticker. Some of them still have the little sticker there for the Pimpernel. And here, this is a red-breasted robin, I believe. So these are in excellent condition. All four of them are in the box. There's no damage to them. They're not cracked in any way. So these will be, um, I haven't decided because they're a little bit heavy. I haven't decided if they go in my 
antique booth in Glen Flora Emporium or if I do these on a live sale. But if you are interested in anything that I ever show in a haul before I take it to Glen Flora or before I put it in a live sale, if you're interested in anything, let me know. We definitely can work that out. I can give get you a quote for shipping if you are not local or we can talk about pickup if you are local. So I think that is it for today's haul. I'm trying to think what would be, oh, now on this box, this edge is, is torn and this edge. So it looks like the edges of the box, all but one, are broken. But it is still a great set, um, perfect condition on the inside. So again, if you saw anything that uh, in today's haul that you are interested in, please contact me at the email listed in the description below. And I certainly can um, work with you to get you a price and a quote for shipping. So let me see, what will my favorite item be? There were so many. I, I think I have to go with, I don't know. I love the, the of course I love the dog book. That's a no brainer. Um, the dog book is probably my favorite. Um, and I love this picture, this Italian picture here. Just great um, design and it's not too, too heavy, but it does have some weight to it, but great colors on that. And I'm excited to see what I may end up doing with the wooden, what do you call those things again? Chargers. I knew it would come back to me. The wooden chargers. Um, now this may be one of my simple DIY videos because I also post simple DIYs where I take things that I have found at the thrift stores or antique malls or anywhere garage sales and I show you how to transform them. Sometimes we have to fix them first and then sometimes we just paint them and add some things to them. But um, this may be one that I would do in a trash to treasure uh, Thursday video. I usually try to post maybe once a month on those um, and put those on Thursdays. So in the comments below, let me know what your favorite is. Let me know what you would do with these coasters. Um, let me know about, about the bowl. Let me know. I, I, like I said, I'm not sure that you could, maybe you could serve like a dip or something in it. I know you couldn't cook in it or anything like that. I do know that much. <laughs> But um, I love to hear from those who view my videos as to what their favorites are and how they would use some of these things. Also, I would love for you to subscribe to my video. I have big goals. So by the end of the year, by the end of 2020, I want to blow this year out um, in a big way. And I'd like to have 500 subscribers to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, it simply helps grow our channel so that our videos are seen more. Um, YouTube has an algorithm where if you subscribe, you get so many points per se. If you hit the notification, bell, which will let you know when I post a live video, post a new video, whether it's a thrifting video, trash to treasure, or I have some upcoming sweet treat videos. By hitting that notification bell, that also helps grow my channel. Sharing people's channels help as well. Um, and of course, liking and comment on the videos. Our goal is to get our content out there. Um, more people that see our content, the more we can learn because people will comment on our videos and tell us exactly maybe what kind of glass this is, where it is made. They'll tell me a little bit about this picture because there are lots of people out there with far more knowledge than we do. So all the new YouTubers out there would love for you to subscribe to their channel. It is free and like and comment on their videos as well as hit that notification bell. We'd love for you also to share it with your friends. Um, all of that stuff is free and it's the best way to help grow a channel. Really, our goal is to just have YouTube recognize our videos and suggest those. When people put in a search, um, sometimes that puts our videos closer to the top when there's so much wonderful content out there. So I just wanted to put that out there and say thank you to all of you who have already subscribed. If you've watched this far and you'd like to see part two, I'd ask that you subscribe um, and hit that notification bell. So I think that's it for this time. I'm going 
to take a few minutes to get this all cleaned up and um, move into the littles. And so next week, stay tuned so that you can see the second half of this haul, which is all of the smalls. Until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.